You have Klebsiella in your saliva, but it's not making you sick. So something in my body is neutralizing the Klebsiella? Basically, yes, but the question is what? Jeff's saliva had traces of abnormal Klebsiella as well. And yeah, neither one of them is sick. Yeah, okay. okay. So what does that mean? You both have a bacteriophage that's fighting this thing. Okay, in English. A phage is a predator virus that fights bacteria. There's something in your blood that's killing this disease, and we have to figure out how it got there. Ah! Phage is naturally occurring. It's usually found in soil or plant material. You either eat it, drink it, or breathe it. Since you both breathe the same air, let's concentrate on what you ingested. Now, you and Karen must have one thing in common that the others don't. Karen, what did you and Jeff ingest on a regular basis that no one else did? We try not to get near each other anymore. What does that mean, anymore? Look, people do all sorts of stupid things in that place. You were sleeping together. So? What is this, some sort of sexual thing? No, but if you were spending time together alone, Whoa, Ray. Raymond. We'll be right back. I'll check up Frank. What are you doing, man? Oh, oh, oh Ray. Another gun, man. Get back. Get back. Ray, Ray, come back. on, man. Get back. Let's meet Jeff. Let's meet Jeff. Raymond, relax. Hold on. Just relax. Just relax. Man, Raymond, just look. Relax. Jeff. Hold on. Just relax. I have to kill them. Don't you hear them out there? Natalie, stay back. Poor guy's probably dead already. The hell? Dumbass probably cut the power. Oh, well, we got some emergency lights. Steven, the phones are out. Even if we find the source of the phage, Miles won't be able to tell us how to make it. Frank presented 10 hours ago. If the pattern holds, a two hours hallucination set. If we don't get the power back on, Frank's gonna die. It's no use. The phone must still be down. So even if we discover the source of the phage, we won't be able to tell them what it is or how to make it. Either way, we do not stop doing our job. Karen, you and I are gonna put our heads together, figure out what you've been ingesting that's protected you. Eva, get on the phone, call NIH. We need to know the exact procedure to give Connor on how to extract a phage and make the anti-serum for this Klebsiella as soon as communications are restored. We are not giving up. Are you sure it's the fuel line? It's the only thing Ray could have done out there to cut power. Why he'd do it, God only knows. In his deranged state of mind, he doesn't need a reason. Frank's headache's getting worse, he's more sensitive to light, and we are out of sedatives. All right, Jeff. Well, I don't want to go out there. I'm not asking you to go. You are the key to the Fage and keeping Frank alive. Right now, I'm more expendable than you are. Where's the shed? It's 100 yards due east. There's an emergency shutoff valve just opposite the door. There is zero visibility. Two steps in the wrong direction. Stupid. And... Hey, where are you going? Glad to go and get some fresh air. You can't leave me like this. I'm hearing music. I know it's not there. This thing is getting in my head. And we both see what happens when it does. Frank. Don't freak me. If I could hold it to the next step, you're the only person in here who can put me down. In case you're not around to do it. You gotta make sure I can't get up to start with. Do it, Steven. I'll do the same. Tell me, 
what music is floating around that head of yours? Van, Van Morrison. <laughs> Man, you've been hanging out with me way too long. <laughs> Back in a minute, right? I'm, I'm counting on it. <laughs> Tell me where it is. Right, listen very carefully. Once you go out the door, take a left. Follow the building all the way down. Then, you're gonna make a 90 degree turn east. And the shed is dead ahead. All right, Stephen. Remember, he has a gun. Ready? Let's do it. The lab at NIH sent everything they had on flashes and extractions. Connor and Nat are gonna need a centrifuge, a millipore filter, beef broth, a heat source. Most of that's in the geology lab, the rest is in the kitchen. Well, then once we get through to the ice station, we're good to go. We're half good. All right, Karen, let's go through this again. There's something we're missing, something only the two of you did and no one else. I've told you everything I can remember. There had to be something else. Well, there's not a lot of variety up here. Look, you and Karen were lovers. Lovers share things. Do things together, others don't. Look, if you're fishing for something like edible body paints, I'm sorry, there was nothing like that. We were less than friends that became more. Opposites attracting. And the key word is opposites. Hell, I could hardly share a meal with Little Miss. Your body is a temple. I, the whole thing was over before it started. There has to be something that you shared. Oh. Well, there is one thing. And she hates me for it. You both smoked cigars? It started out as a joke, you know, afterwards. He'd smoke, so would I, and then I kind of got hooked. I told you that place will make people do strange things. Well, lots of women smoke cigars. I've been known to take a puff or two. Well, then you would have liked these. Cubans and damn expensive. Natalie? No, it's Kim Powell, Frank's wife. NIH transferred my call here. Kim, it's uh, Eva Rossi. You know, Powell's not here with Miles and me. He's at the ice station in Elsevier. Eva, I need to speak with him. I know, I'm sorry, but there's a storm front moving through there. We've lost communication. Frank called me from up there, Eva. He sounded funny. I could hear it in his voice. I know something's wrong. Eva, please. Don't do that. Raymond, hey, put the gun down. Come on, I can help you. You can't help me. Nobody can. Once we get the generator back on again, we can fight this thing, okay? You tell that to the dead. Face it, Curdle was right. There's only one way to end this pain. Raymond. Uh, Raymond, no! Dr. Durant? Is this all of them? Yeah, every last one of them. Is this gonna be enough? Yeah, I think so. Dr. 
talk to Connor. He made it. I gotta call Miles, tell him about the cigars. We're one step ahead of you, Nat. Karen told us about the cigar. I already have them in the lab. I'm ready to start cooking. All right. NAH estimates it could take up to 90 minutes to make the phage extract. Does Frank... It'll be close. Frank's only a couple hours from the last stage. I'll get started on the phage. Those Cubans? Steven. Where's Raymond? He didn't make it. How's Frank? It's hard to tell. He's, he's not too coherent, but um, might be all the morphine. Give me a hand. Yeah. I need to add the broth and then heat this to 180. couple of hours if this is going to work or not. You wanted to be at Tisha's birthday so badly. Frank knows the risks, Stephen. Maybe I expect you all to take too many of them. Just like us, Frank knows how important what he does is. That's why he does it. Of course, we both know he'd follow you to hell and back. Uh, Dr. McCabe called. The storm's letting up. He said they'd have a chopper out to us in about 12 hours. Great. Thanks, Jeff. Fever's down. Blood pressure, respiration, pulse, all stabilized. Welcome back, partner. How do you feel? Go get you something, something to eat, drink. Maybe a little Van Morrison. Let's <clears throat> give me a phone. <laughs> Daddy. Happy birthday, baby. Daddy, I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. I'm sorry I couldn't make it home today. But listen, I'll, I'll be home soon. I promise. That's okay. Hey, can I read you a story? Really? Over the phone? Hey, why not? How about Peter Rabbit? I got it right here in my hands. You ready? I'm ready. Daddy, you're coming home soon, right? Yeah, baby. I'll be home real soon. All right, baby. Here we go. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were... 